Ladies and gentlemen, we're here. Season nine. You see it on the screen. You see it everywhere. We've been promoting it. Next chapter, season nine is finally here, and we're starting with a bang. Team Cam versus. Ooh, shit! I almost just threw up. Oh, little little burp. You ever just burp and it's just like burns. Anyway, wish I could edit that out. I can't. I can't go back. There's no going back now. Team Cam versus Team Dizo. We put a lot of time and injury. Injury. Wow. I should just start over. We put a lot of time and energy into this entire season. I'm so stoked that it's finally being released. And it's my first season back on the next chapter. So just, just super grateful. Easily one of the funnest experiences I've ever had with any platform, doing any sort of thing for uh, YouTube, basketball. Like this, this stuff is getting better and better. And, and it's crazy that each and every time we get together is always better than the last. So, shit, without further ado. Welcome back to the next chapter. My name is Devontae Friga. I'm here with Scotty Weaver. We've got Team Cam versus Team Dizo. It's been built up for a couple of days. Scotty, what do you have to say? I mean, everybody that tuned in to the live when we were on our broadcast, we got to see how spicy it got between Dizo and Cam. As soon as they came into the house, it was massive amounts of trash talk so i'm just ready to see them get active and i think you're in tune for a good one if you guys hear pierce yelling in the Walk background in, make some noise. Yeah. yo pierce hold on buddy oh here we go and i was there i was there and i'm just as pumped to watch it as if i didn't see this yet i don't remember every single play so um my goal I'm not going to pause it a lot, but my goal with these reactions is just to kind of give you guys a little bit more insight on what's going on. And so here we are. You know, we that, finally so. get to see Dizo versus Cam like we're talking about. Dizo starts off hitting a two. It's a three, not a two. Let's take it over to their bench right now. I'm with Team Dizo on the bench. DC Heat. Talk to me, man. What, what, do you, what do you guys have? Do you guys have some strategies right now? How's the game going already? It's looking good. I like that shot. <laughs> no, I like this. I like this matchup right here. He's been talking to me. Oh, He's fire. Talking to me. And, uh, the camera switches the camera angles. It's tough. Make myself a little smaller, y'all. Corey. Corey, this is a tag team 1v1. I don't know if you've ever played like a tag team 1v1 setting, but what do you feel about, you know, being in the 1v1 with Dizo here? What do you like? I like it. It's nice. Uh, like, this is the first time I did a tag team. I've been watching it, so I've been trying to get out here and get a, a, a piece of it. It looks live right now. He's all doing what he got to do, so hopefully I can get in and uh, carry the same energy he got. I wish I could explain so to you guys what the energy out, felt like. You're focusing on? Uh, just play my game. I got a little bit of Damn. my game, so I just want to play good defense. I know Scar is shifty. You know, he's long. He can get downhill, so I'm really trying to get my working on defense, see what I can do on the offensive side. EJ, EJ, what are you thinking about the game so far? You like your team? You like the pace of the game? Talk to me. Oh, yeah, I love it. All right, look, I'm going to point this out now because I was super uncomfortable watching through a little bit of this skimming through. When I'm on the mic, all right, it is my job to go around and try and, you know, commentate and interview people. Um, really as like a just in case the game is boring and this is the first episode of the entire season so it's really just to kind of go around ask people the energy ask people the vibe how they're feeling blah 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 kind of talk over some of the gameplay but the more i watch through it the more i'm like i can't decide whether i want to just watch the game or listen to what some people are saying and we actually had a long conversation on like how we're going to do it but i talked to pat and kyle the editing team and they said that the first episode was really like more of the, there was a lot more talking in the first episode than some of the other ones. So like I said, I don't want to sit here and react and hear myself the whole time. So. Some of this stuff's really good though. Like a lot of people say some good things, but sometimes you just, you want to watch. I like Diesel over Cam. Oh, what a tough bucket by Cam. Ew. 
Shout out to the Please production team. Please help us reach our goal of 10,000 oh. members by the end of the season. When you become a member, you and a guest are automatically entered in a chance to be flown out to watch season 10 live. Shoot. Become a member right now, y'all. Please. We're literally going to put every single dime back into these seasons as we've done before. Gizo would make that shot, though. He would make that as I'm talking, like. That's a great shot. D that is a Dizo so shot, so though. Hey. Dizo and Cam were going at it, though. Like, they were going at it in the live stream. They were going at it in person. Team Cam over here. Are you... Why is it lagging, man? I'm sorry, so I'm going to bring the quality down to 720. <laughs> I swear, my Wi-Fi is good. I promise. Yeah, I'm liking the game so far. You know, Cam, he's about to get comfortable. Right <laughs> Corey here. Sanders checks in for the first time. How do you feel with the two v two with you and Draco versus DC Heat and EJ? Uh, I love playing with Draco. You know, we both unselfish basketball players. Man, I thought Cam was gonna dunk that. Cam just hezied the shit out of Corey. <laughs> Corey Sanders checks in for the first time. Scars checks in. Make some noise! This is a this is a cool matchup. Like for everybody that was talking, this is like new school, old school YouTube. Bank. <laughs> it's nice to have your first shot go in, that's for sure. Comment below if you guys have seen Damn, anything you just from uh, out. How are you feeling about the pace of the game? How are you feeling about how you're playing and all that? We can't go stop this was the thumbnail. Pace of the Cam, you just saw. Down. How are you feeling about the pace of the game? How are you feeling about how you're playing? Usually Scar order? does that to people. We can't go stop Doesn't happen to shots. I'm not making no right now. He gonna slow down. I'm gonna speed up, so it's all good. It's a game of runs. We good though. Scar gonna get us right. That's why I got him. Scar's a good pickup in this type of setting for the 1v1 specifically. Like there, there's never like a series or a round where you would changing go into this with Scar on your team and not think he's going to be in the ones for you. How the game's going right now. How you feel? You know, it's 9-4. It's going the way it's supposed to go. We just got to keep the same thing going. He got to stop Scar. What are you expecting from uh, Corey here? He's about to go crazy. Got to warm up a little bit. I'm taking a ton of notes right now, all right, guys? Trust me, I'm taking a ton of notes. Not just the production side, but on the mic, the commentating, everything. What is going through your mind right now, seeing this format and everything, making you excited to play it all? Hell yeah. I, you know, one-on-one -on -one is very, very, very New York. And just to see the style from all over the country and a good move. be here with y'all is dope. I'm enjoying Look at that it. shot. For sure, man. Do you, do you like this Corey Sanders Scar matchup right now? I love, it. I love it. I love Scar game. I love Corey game. I played against Corey a bunch of times. And he a dog and so is Scar. You know what I'm saying? So this is going to be a good matchup. For sure. Bucket, Corey. That's very tough. I ain't gonna lie. That was simple and tough. Corey's got a very strong downhill drive. You can tell he has a quick first step. He hit the ball. Oh, I, I don't know why I didn't think they were gonna call that. Hey, man. What are you thinking so far? I like it. The energy, everything. I love it. All right. The mic's not that bad. So, at least so far, the mic's not that bad because I'm going around and asking different people. I thought it was a little bit worse than what it was. I might judge it a little bit more because it's me. And like I said, it's a tad bit awkward. It's just a lot of talking. But now that I know I'm kind of going around talking to everybody and getting their opinion, this is the energy setter, the tone setter for the entire season. So it kind of makes sense now what the editing team was saying. Ah, oh, Scar loves that move. Man, it is how, uh, lagging right now. Oh, I love Cassie, you on this Wi-Fi? We got to hop off. Is there a movie playing? People are going to think I'm tweaking. Is there enough air in the ball, Corey?
It's so easy, bro. This is when Scar is at his best. When Scar is going downhill, this is... It's hard to guard Scar right here. Like, it's just tough. If you let him get there, consider it a bucket. There he goes again. All right. Consider it a bucket. A boogie. We got a boogie on the next chapter. Bro, he is so good at this. Look at his concentration. I, I admire Scar's defense when he does this to people. He is so concentrated on the ball. And his, his uh, wingspan is so long. His hands are ginormous, too. You guys can kind of tell. He's just built like different and i don't mean that in the saying like because he little bro but uh. pontos always says that scar is the only pe one of the only people that we actually hoop with that has an nba player's body frame that has a professional hooper body frame um and body type he hit that uh. when scar hits two or three in a row Scary. I think he hits another one here. Oh my god. Right in a halftime. I was talking to Moon and he was like, man, if, if Scar's hitting if Scar's hitting his shots, it's gonna be a long game. You know what? My favorite part about these like half times and timeouts all of season nine was the fact that there weren't 15 people in the corner trying to just tell somebody what to do in their ones or twos. There's four people on a team, so there's not just a bunch of talking going on and not a bunch of chaos. I, I always hate when I'm in, like, the ones and we did, like, uh, Team Black versus Team White, and I have 12 people trying to tell me what to do when, in reality, like, I feel like I've been in the situation before. I don't need this person tell me this and that person tell me that. It's a lot easier if you have people around you helping you, you know, coach through the game. Easier when it's, like, maybe two or three people. That's what I love about season nine is that we get to see people's like leadership skills come out and um, maybe poor leadership skills, good leadership skills, teammates, um, people that are willing to sacrifice uh, a lot for their team. And, and, and that really showed in season nine. So. We got this. We got this. One stop. One stop. Right now it's halftime. 15-11. Scarman. No, bro. The first sub it was 9-4. Dizo checked out. Corey came in. Cam checked out. Scar came in. Scar just kind of brought them to halftime. It's 15-11, like I just said. But we're gonna see what happens in the second half here. Game going to 30. Subscribe if you're watching this right now, and please give the video a like. All right, here we go. Right out of halftime. That was a very quick halftime, Rob. Oh, I already did give the video a like. What do you think of the format? What do you like in, uh, as you get to watch it? Rob on the mic. Um, it's all right, you know. Uh, I like the format. There's only one thing I really don't rock with. It's, uh, it's the reaching, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I didn't know he hit yeah, another three straight out of halftime, though. On, bro. But, yeah, like, if somebody reaches, hit your arm. And the that boy is happy he's hitting. That's the only thing I don't rock with, but everything else is great, you know. I am not new to this, you know, played on Freakus channel, so let's get lit. No way. Oh my gosh. So I knew he hit a bunch of threes, but I didn't know if he made that one. Bucket. Oh shoot. It's crazy watching these when you're not at the gym. The one v one, the subbing. Like watching them back, you can feel the energy shift on camera too. But Scar had made a run, so it's hard to kind of take him out here. 
I'm going to go over to Cam and see what's going on. Team Cam, Captain. So what's going through your head right now? You know, obviously Scar made a little bit of a run. It's kind of hard to hard to sub in and out then. Uh, but how are you feeling right now? You feeling like you might go in soon? Oh. Uh, yeah, I definitely did. Did they count that as a bucket? I gotta go check right That's the foul. Okay, That's the bucket. Yeah, they did. Hey, you never know. Sometimes they like these refs. Like, they sometimes they'll call it on the floor. Oh, sometimes they call a, a bucket. Run there. What, what's going through your head? What was going through your head on the court? Kill, 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 kill. A lot of people don't think that Scar can shoot that jumper. You feel like you know you're showing him something else. Uh, yeah, I'm showing him something else. I'm showing him a new and improved Scar. Let's get it. Kill, 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 kill. You kind of like the subbing in and out. You know, you made your run. And you feel like Cam's gonna turn up here. Hell yeah! Did you see my energy? Hey, K, come on, Cam. Cam, Cam versus Corey Sanders. Corey Sanders just checked in. We're seeing Cam versus Corey right now. Let's see if Corey can make a run right here. This is a huge possession because it scores 18 14, and obviously, like, you know, Scar hit a bunch of those two. God, that is nasty. I hate when I'm in the middle of saying something and then something crazy happens and it just. Completely disregard what I was about to say because I lay was tough. First time here in the next chapter. What, what's the energy like in the gym for the people that have never been here but actually want to come see an event live and in person? It's great, man. It's great to be in an environment where it's just about everyone's about hooping, but also there's an inter entertainment and energy factor where everyone's building up each other. It, it's just getting started though, so we'll see. You know, when I get in there, that was quick. Low key was just kind of like bad one on one defense. That's all. Good move. Uh, I think Cam and Scar are doing exactly what people expected them to do in this one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not going to lie. So Cam starts off a little bit of a slump at the beginning of the game. Scar checks in, goes on a run, and now Cam's going on a run. Man, this is a good-ass game, man. I ain't going to lie. I feel like them subs gonna play a big part in it though, man. You know what I'm saying? As far as, as far as when he got back in, like Scar went on that run right before halftime, so now he in, he coming back in after halftime, and you gotta you gotta think about what's gonna happen. Cause I let you keep, I let you stay on your run, cause we gotta make a sub. If we don't make it now, we gotta make it later. I think they made the right decision by stuffing them out real quick. Let Cam come in and do some work. I think Corey Corey finna turn up though, I ain't worried. Good D. Smiling so hard for all the people that can't see Tricky right now. We're talking ear to ear. <laughs> I love basketball, so this is amazing. It's my first time, and I'm just enjoying the energy. Energy is great. I'm having fun. That is a very, very big shot by Corey because it very was big 23 shot. to 16, and you know these games are going to 30. So. Cam didn't like that call. Sorry, my son's in the background making a ton of noise. Hey, Piers! Piers, come here, buddy. You want to watch some basketball? Come here. Come here, you're being super loud. He doesn't want to watch basketball right now. Oh, two late calls with the um, last couple plays. Big free throw. Cam's starting far back. Looks like he's trying to go downhill. I didn't realize that, honestly. Damn. Corey, you just checked out. How you feeling? What's going through your head? I'm good. First couple of possessions, I was a little uh, timid, man. Body was uh, tightening up on me, but I got out of it now. I'm straight now. Ready to get back out here with Dizo, see if we can finish it off. 24-19, game's not over. Corey said he was timid, and that's just something I want to point out again because he, he, like, humbly expressed how – much he watched the next chapter and appreciated the content we just appreciate like we just appreciated his words you know 
um, coming from somebody that played at that professional level overseas and stuff. So I don't know. Definitely super interesting to hear him say, you know, he's timid going in there. He's, it's surreal to be here. He's happy to be here. So just cool to uh, cool to see some people's perspective because I feel like we only get one perspective and that's the inside of the next chapter. W that you guys need. Now, this is a best of three. It's not just 1v1s. If you guys are here in the premiere, you guys have a 2v2 next game. Um, so what's going through your head in this very moment? I know you're mid-game, but... Good shot, Scar. Get this dub right here. Damn, I thought he Get hit that. <laughs> and then that 2v2 come up. Help, well, I know my boy's going to get the next up, so really just hoping we can get this sweep right now. Did he get hit? So really just hoping we can get this sweep right now. Oh, he hit him on the elbow. Got away with it. Not going to lie. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. No. <laughs> don't Don't take that advice, kids. Hmm. I hope we have some stats at the end of this game. I, I actually, I know we have stats at the end of this game. I don't know why I said that. Damn, it's getting real. This was the best display of basketball we've had on the next chapter because... Because people weren't just like talking shit, getting to the toxic stuff for the clicks in the camera. Like everybody exaggerates the whole like um, the whole like toxicity thing a little bit, in my opinion, just because like these guys hoop together often so that competitiveness like can be misconstrued a little bit. And I understand that, you know, sometimes it crosses the line in it to a way, uh, but what I'm saying is that season nine, we got to see people really locked in the gym, if you know what I mean, like really focused. I think the multiple teams helped uh, create some chemistry, a dynamic where it was like, we have to come together and be on the same page or else we're going to lose. And I think we saw that between everybody. Like it wasn't anything of any toxicity. This was just straight hoops. And that was an amazing move. Scars going dumb this game. You guys are in the live premiere right now. Spam fire emojis for Scars jumper today. Oh my God, Scar! Oh my God! You got nothing to say. Damn, bro. This shit over with. This game here, score 29-20. Does he end it? Oh my gosh, bro. I remember Scar going crazy. Davion Scar, bro. But damn. So that is game one of the series. Do not forget, this is a series. This is a best of three series. We got three games. The 1v1. This is so cool. Huge shout out to uh, everybody on our team that helps put these things together. Damn. Scar with 22 points and eight points allowed. So eight points scored on him. Cam, 10 points with 12 points allowed. Dizo, surprisingly, 19 points allowed on him now. <laughs> they were contested threes with Scar shooting threes. And zero disrespect, like, I, I know Scar can shoot the ball better than what people know just because of the videos they've seen. And we've hooped without the cameras and whatnot and different settings. But when when it happens, you know, sometimes he doesn't shoot the best. And so Dizo, I assume his plan was to kind of give him a little bit of space and not let him shoot, but give him a hand. And uh, Scar said he was in the gym before he came to season nine, so maybe... Maybe he was really in the gym. Who knows? And Corey, nine points, 13 points allowed. Comment below what you guys thought of Corey's debut. Which has now secured the 2v2. Draco and Kamari versus DC Heat. And EJ is about to come up next. If Team Dizo wins the 2v2, we go into a 3v3 to decide who moves on in the bracket. Here's the bracket on the screen. We'll see you guys in the next one. And before you leave the video, please don't forget to become a Next Chapter member. 
Damn, that's crazy. Production level is just insane. And it, it's actually gotten to a point where I don't necessarily see most of the videos be, before they come out. We get there, we have a sh uh, basically an itinerary of what we're going to do, a, a shot list of what we're creating and the behind the scenes stuff I'm focusing on with them, like, like kind of like producing, directing that with everybody that's there from the production team and then taking that back and working on that. But the episodes that come out, man, that's just the overall huge shout out to Kyle, Pat, um, everybody that actually edits to make them get done. Me and Scotty get on the phone every single time that one's coming out for uh, the title, the thumbnail, all of the logistics. But when it comes to the video stuff, the team's crushing it right now. And um, one thing we talked about was that if everybody focuses on what they do best and we all have the same goal, we can't fail. So that's what we're working on in the next chapter from the from the editing to the players to me and Scotty and Grace and Jeremy, Pat, Massey, like everybody that's a part of the team. So um, appreciate you guys supporting. Become a Next Chapter member. I'll leave the link below for the channel. And uh, that is part one of the first series. To, not tomorrow. Well, tomorrow's reaction for going to be the 2v2. Kamari and Draco versus DC Heat and EJ. Stay tuned.